G'day guys, how you going? Uh, so today we're going to be looking at another video in our RPA series, and this one's the enzyme one. Uh, it's a big one guys, I'll try and cut it down, but uh, it's a big RPA. Alright, so there's three major components to all of the RPA uh, videos that we do. Number one, what are we investigating? Number two, what is the method? And number three, what would you expect to see if you did this experiment? But before we get into those, we need to understand some core underlying science before we get into it. Number one, the things we need Need to know is we need to know that amylase is an enzyme and enzyme and amylase will break down starch into simple sugars which are glucose you can see starch over there on the left it's kind of like that necklace lots of small links joined together if amylase came along what would happen is it would break that necklace down into little bits all right or break starch down into simple sugars like glucose you can see that it's broken down into just that single link just there so from a lots of glucose joined together into a single link there that is exactly what amylase does it breaks down starch Next, to test for starch, we use this solution here, which is our iodine solution. Um, and if starch is present, it will go a blue-black color, a really dark blue. So if it's blue-black, starch is present. If it stays orange, which is the color of iodine, it means starch is not present. So blue-black, yes to starch, there is starch. And orange, there is not starch present. All right, keep those in mind as we move forward. Sorry about that. Uh, so what are we investigating? We're investigating how temperature affects how quickly an enzyme works. What this means is that if we change the temperature, what happens? Does the reaction get faster or slower? So the independent variable that we're looking at is the temperature of the solution in degrees Celsius. The independent variable is the one that we change, remember. So we're going to change the temperature between experiments. Uh, and the dependent variable, or the one we measure, is going to be the time it actually takes to break down the starch in seconds. All right. So independent temperature of the solution, dependent variable is the time taken to break down the starch. All right, so let's run through the method. Let's do the preparation phase first. So we're gonna place a drop of iodine in each tile, right? As you can see on the right here, you can see my tiles and we're gonna put a single drop of iodine in each of those tiles, right? Um, we're then gonna get two test tubes. In one of the test tubes, we're gonna put in three centimeters cubed of the starch solution, right? And you can see it just there in that water bath. In the other test tube, we're gonna put two centimeters cubed of amylase. And we're gonna put both of these into a water bath at whatever temperature we're interested in. Let's start with 20 degrees Celsius. So both of those solutions are gonna be there for about three minutes to warm up to 20 degrees. All right, so then uh, that's the water bath. Next, right, so we're gonna start. We're gonna use a pipette to take a drop out of the starch solution, all right, before we've added anything to it uh, and pop it on that first tile, all right? This is time zero, and you would expect it to turn blue-black. We're then gonna take those two solutions, we're gonna pour the amylase into the starch solution and give it a swirl, or as I said, give it a swirl, girl, um, and because that's gonna start the amylase breaking down the starch, right? Once we've mixed those two together, we start a timer straight away. Every 30 seconds, what's gonna happen is we're gonna take a drop out of that um, test tube and we're gonna pop it on the next dimple tile that we have, right? Um, and we're gonna look at the color. Once the tile no longer turns blue black and stays orange, we're gonna stop the timer. That's the first part of the experiment done. We're gonna write down the time it took to digest in our books. Um, we're gonna do all of these steps again, but we're gonna change the temperature of the water bath. So it's gonna be 20, 40, 50, 80 degrees, okay? And that's the experiment in a nutshell. That's the method. Let me show this to you a little bit more visually. So once we see an orange well, we're gonna stop timing. It means the starch has been broken down and we're gonna write these results in our table. So let's have a look how this works. So at zero seconds, we're gonna put some iodine on our tile and we're just gonna put iodine, oops, sorry, across all of the tiles, right? So we're gonna drip it, drop it, and we're just gonna put it along the whole of it. So every tile has iodine on it. And then what we are going to do is we are going to take one of our starch solution, we're gonna put it on zero. And as you can see, it turned blue black, which means starch is present. And so now we're gonna mix the amylase with it and in 30 seconds time, all right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take another drop out of it 
and pop it there. And we can see it's starting to get a little bit lighter, which means the starch is being broken down. At 60 seconds, we do the same thing. We take another drop out of our solution. Ooh, it's starting to get even lighter still. Uh, at 90 seconds, we take another drop out and pop it down. And look, it stayed orange. And because it stayed orange, it means that all the starch is broken down. So it took 90 seconds to completely break down the starch. And that is the experiment. That is exactly what you are going to be doing inside science okay um, so what would you expect to see uh, at zero degrees it should be too cold for the enzyme to work properly and so you would expect it not to break down the starch or starch to always be present which means it stays blue at 10 degrees it's a little bit warmer just enough for the enzyme to start working towards the end which is what you can see here where the enzyme is just starting to break down the starch at the end uh, at 20 degrees it's a little bit warmer still so the enzyme works a little bit better and it breaks the starch down a little bit earlier here uh, at 40 degrees perfect temperature right it breaks the starch down really quickly you can see by like the third tile we're already have broken down the starch so after 60 seconds we've basically broken down the whole lot 50 degrees is starting to get too hot for the enzymes so the enzymes are starting to break down or denature so they slow down again right and you can see it taking longer to break down the starch in here the time taken to break down starch is basically the number of blue circles right uh, and then at 80 degrees we've completely denatured the enzyme which means that starch is not broken down again because the amylase enzyme isn't working right i hope this helps guys i know it's a lot but good job keep it up i'll catch you guys later